hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful dress you see right here if this is something you're interested in you definitely want to stick around to all my subscribers thank you so much if this is your first time on here you're very much welcome do not forget to hit on the subscribe button all right let's get started Right here, you can see that I've cut out the fabric and lining for each pattern piece. I also went ahead to add all my sewing allowances. If you've not seen the video of how I drafted this pattern, I'll leave the link in the description box so you can be up to date. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to iron my gum stay and part of the busty. So, as you can see, I've gone ahead to iron my gum stay on both the fabric and the lining piece, and I've also padded the busty parts. I have a video on how I did the padding. I'll also leave the link in the description box so you can watch it and understand the entire process which is really really easy now i'm going to put the back pieces aside so we can work on the front piece in order to join the front piece together we're going to place the side front on the center front and i'm going to use my pin to hold it down and when i get to my machine i'm going to stitch down with half of an inch okay so just watch the way i get to arrange the bustier which is the side front and the center front before i get to stitch it and what i'm doing on this end i'm going to do to the other end as well What I've just done on the Ankara fabric is the exact same thing I'm going to do on the lining piece as well. So I'll head over to my machine now and do that and come back to show you the results. So this is the busty after being stitched down. I'm going to go ahead to notch so it's more relaxed before I iron. Now that I'm done with the notching, I'm going to proceed to iron and you get to see how beautiful the cup turns out. Here it is, all ironed and standing beautifully. Now I'm going to keep this aside and work on the back piece. Back piece, we're going to be doing the exact same thing like the front, which is joining the side back to the center back, right? You can see that they all look alike in a way and it can get really confusing. So I made a notch at some point to let me know where I would be joining with my half inch sewing allowance. So in order not to get confused, you could also do that and it works perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is join my side back and center back together and hold it down with my pin. I'm going to do so for both the Ankara fabric and the lining piece. So please watch what I'm doing. placing them i'll head over to my machine to stitch down with half an inch here are all the pieces i've stitched it down and i've ironed as well now the next thing i'm going to do is close up the zipper allowance and i'll be doing that with a very loose stitch because we'll be losing it later on it's just to establish the line on that point that shows that okay this is a zipper allowance 
it will be useful in the course of the video so you get to see why so when you close down the zipper allowance when i iron and then the next thing to do is you shape the upper bodies so you put the side back and the side front together just as you see me do and then you pin it down you do so for the other side as well and then you mark out your round bust measurement and your round waist measurement and you shape it and then proceed to stitch the line that you have there on your sewing machine i'm going to do all of this now and come back to show you the results now this is it all done it's been shaped and ironed the zipper allowance as well i stitched it with a loose stitch ironed and loose basically everything i explained previously and i did so for both the ankara fabric and the lining piece now the next thing to do is to place the lining piece over the ankara fabric right sides facing each other and we'll be stitching down the neckline to turn it with half of an inch now that this is sorted i'm going to keep this aside so we can work on the lower bodies which is the skirt part as you can see here i made a notch on the zipper allowance to let me know that this is where the zipper allowance is meant to be so i'm going to stitch down the zipper allowance from the top to the bottom and i'll be doing that with a loose stitch okay and i'm going to do so to the lining piece as well i'm going to go ahead to do all of this now and come back to show you the next step do not forget to top stitch where your zipper and slit stops you noticed at the beginning of the video the dress had a strap which is what i have here i forgot to show you earlier on mine is a bit tiny so you can make yours wider if that's what you want and the length that i have here is 12.5 inch plus one inch which is 13.5 we're going to use half inch to stitch it in the front and half to stitch at the back so i'm placing the strap just right where we have the that line on the busty and i'm going to pin it down we're going to use the lining to turn it so you don't get to see where it was stitched on and i'm going to do so for the back as well here is what it looks like after i stitched and ironed you can see that i also did not close up my zipper allowance my stitch also did not exceed where the zipper allowance started from my strap has been attached everything is looking neat and nice for the skirt as well you can see that i also top stitched where i wanted my zipper and my slit to stop just so it doesn't lose okay so make sure to do that it's very important now i'm going to keep all this aside and the next thing i'm going to do is place the front part of the skirt on top of the back part just as you see me do and then we're going to go ahead to pin it down and shape so you put in your round waist measurements your round hip measurements what you used for your knee circumference and the hem of the skirt and then you shape it out and move to the machine to stitch the lines that you got so that's what i'm going to do and you get to see the after results so here is the finished look i have opened up my slit as well and opened up where i want my zipper to fit in and i've ironed as well now the next thing to do is to turn this and how to do that we're going to make sure the ankara fabric and the lining are facing each other right sides and to do that i'm going to flip my ankara fabric to the wrong side and wear the lining piece into it okay i hope that makes sense and if it doesn't just watch what i'm doing i'm wearing the lining piece into the ankara fabric you can see that it is the right side i am putting into the ankara fabric which i have just turned to the wrong side by the time it goes in you can see that both of them are facing each other right side okay so you arrange it with your hands and make sure everything laps well it's not giving a bulky effect now i'm going to go ahead to pin and i'm pinning the sides so make sure the sides of your skirt parts meet and if they don't it's either you've taken much more than your sewing allowance or lesser okay so when i'm done pinning i'm going to show you how we're going to stitch this down in order to turn it for it to give us a more professional finish and to do that we're going to stitch the hem all round with the half inch sewing allowance that we kept if that is what you kept okay but i kept half inch so i'm going to stitch all around with half inch okay and then for the slit part as well we're going to stitch both the lining and the ankara fabric together so from the hem that i just pointed you just stitch all the way down to where you had top stitched earlier to show that this is where your slit ends in order for it not to lose okay so that's what we're going to do and you're going to do it on both sides here is the final result it's giving neat and professional right 
I'm sure you would agree. You can see all our sewing allowances are inside, none is seen, which makes it even more beautiful. Alright, so the next thing to do now is to attach the upper bodies to the lower bodies. And to do that, we're going to attach the Ankara fabric to Ankara fabric and then lining to lining in order to turn this completely, giving it the neat finish that we're trying to achieve. So I'm going to pin this all around and proceed to my machine to stitch down with half of an inch. So watch the process, okay? Here is what it looks like. I've gone ahead to iron as well. Now we're going to work on the lining piece and to do that we're going to turn this in bringing out the lining piece out and you notice that the right side of the lining is what is facing us right. So you're going to make sure that the lower bodies and the upper bodies you flip both of them and hold it down with your pin right sides facing each other. That is how we're going to stitch all the way to the other end. Okay it's very easy it's nothing too complicated so like i said you take the lower bodies and the upper one and you flip it making sure that you have the right sides facing each other and you hold it down with your pin so i'm going to do that all the way to the other end so it's easier for me to stitch on the machine so when i'm done you get to see the final result So here is what it looks like it's neat and it gives a more professional finish to any outfits that you're making what i'm going to do now is to attach my zipper and i have a video on the channel that shows how to attach your zipper and then close it with the lining which i'll leave in the description box so you can check it out all right this brings us to the end of today's tutorial if you have any questions please do drop it in the comment section i'll be more than happy to reply please do not forget to like share and subscribe engage my videos until next time this is goodbye from me